I want to introduce you to something very cool today. Now, I've talked about ciphers before, one, one particular cipher, uh, uh, basically a, a code machine, right, that creates code so you can communicate secretly with uh, somebody else or a group. We spoke about the Enigma 2, which is a David uh, Janelle uh, cipher um, from Creative Craft House uh, here in, uh, in Florida. And this one is the Janelle Cipher, and I think it's very cool, and I want to introduce it to you. By the way, I have a video on the uh, Enigma 2. I've already recorded it, so you guys can go back and check that out. Uh, the Janelle Cipher is uh, very interesting. It comes with this uh, sheet here. It's got some basic instructions, but I'm, I'm going to show it to you now. As you can see, it's got three uh, discs there, right? The three center discs, they, they, they rotate, they move. Now... For you to be able to send a secret message to someone, now of course the person has to have uh, the cipher as well to be able to decipher your message, you need to set the machine, right? And you set the machine, in this case, in A, right? As you can see there, there's four, um, the disks are lined up with four numbers. You have under A there, you have, what is that, 160? Because I'm looking at 160, 85, 45, and 18. Is that correct? No, 82. Sorry, it's because uh, through the camera here, it's reversed. So you set that uh, code. That's how you set the machine. All right? You have to get that information to whoever is going to receive your secret message. All right. Once they have that, they're able to line up these discs in this uh, position. All right. Now, what you do is you begin uh, spelling something. So let's say we were going to spell Alex. Okay. Um, I can choose any of these four numbers there. So let's say uh, 18, the number 18. So I write number 18 now, and then I look at L. Okay, and there's L. Uh, let's say I decide to use that top number because you can choose any of the four uh, numbers there on the disk. So I decide to use 132. So now we have 18, 132. Now we go to E for Alex. And uh, let's say I decide to use uh, 86. All right. And then finally the X. Um, let's say I decide to use the 71 there on the X. Right? That's it. You put those codes there. Once the person receiving uh, your coded message has the disk lined up with the numbers you sent them, right? Maybe a, 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 in an, another way you sent them that uh, message to how to line up the machine, they can decipher any message you choose to write on here, which is very cool. This one has numbers, you know, it has an at symbol. It's very cool. It's so uh, interesting uh, to to uh, to play with this, you know. I, I, I even thought of creating like an open Facebook group page, open because you know all the messages, everything will just be. Uh, you, you would have to have one of these uh, Janelle ciphers to be able to decipher the messages. So I just leave it as an open group and uh, put different messages on there for people who own this. It'd be kind of cool, but I need to find the time uh, to do that. So we'll see if I do that or not. Or maybe somebody out there who's watching this can go ahead and, and create a group. And everybody who has a Janelle cipher can then post different messages. I don't know, it's kind of neat if you're into this kind of thing. I, I like it, I think it's very cool. So that's how you um, set the cipher, set the code machine and then uh, create your message. The person who's on the other side uh, receiving your message knows what the set numbers are, and then they just begin rotating, and because, uh, like I said, it can be any of the, like say you wanted a D, it could be any of these four numbers here, right? Now, when you send messages, you want to send them, because you don't want people like guessing like how many letters in a word, you send them like this, right, in blocks of four, because once you decipher it, you'll, you'll know exactly what that message says. But you would send them into, in, in like that, in blocks of four. So, you know, Alex is handsome. You would just divide that into blocks of four, right? Very cool. 
the encryption machine, uh, this one uses five discs that convert letters, numbers, or four keyboard symbols into numbers based on a key that is used to initially set the wheels, like I just explained. The machine is powerful and secure, yet easy to use and comes with clear instructions. And here they are. Uh, they also uh, provide three different encoded messages for you to try to solve, and there are the messages there. So, uh, the Janelle cipher is uh, super cool, uh, high quality wood construction. This thing will last you a lifetime. And, um, I mean, that's it. I just wanted to introduce it to you. The Janelle Cypher, a very cool, a, a wonderful icebreaker. You keep this at home, you know, or your office. Somebody goes, gee, Alex, what the heck is that? And you explain it to them. How cool, right? I, call me crazy. I like it. So there you go. Uh, like I said, uh, I had uh, talked about the Enigma 2, which is another... Uh, Janelle Cypher, David Janelle Cypher from um, Creative Craft House. Go check that video out. And this is the um, Janelle Cypher. That's what it's called. Very cool. Creative Craft House. There's a link on the bottom that you can click. It'll take you uh, straight to Creative Craft House where you'll be able to find this and send your secret messages.